What is up guys, the Notorious TCG here and thank you so much for checking out my channel. Rumor has it that Dave & Buster's has Pokemon cards. So we're at Dave & Buster's right now, we're gonna check out the gift shop, but first we're gonna hit a few jackpots, let's go. chips. The uh, Pokemon packs are about 800 chips each, so we could get like two booster boxes if we really want. I think we should... All right, so we can get like two booster boxes, like I said. I think we should do it. I would love to do a Lost Origin box and then an Astral Radiance box. Should we go ask them if they have it? I think it's like 36 I think so too. up guys we are back in the studio the notorious tcg here and so we stopped at dave and buster's and we got two booster boxes one was lost origins one was astral radiance i think we're going to do the lost origins on this box so buckle in grab your favorite beverage grab a snack sit back relax and let's open up some packs together here 36 packs in the box the uh, employee at Dave & Buster's counted them herself. So on the back of these packs, if you get them like at a Dave & Buster's or um, a place like an arcade or something, they will have like these stickers on the back. Um, don't really know what they mean, but I think it's just like the wholesale cards. So obviously Lost Origins, you're trying to get that alternate art Aerodactyl. Or the Giratina. Oh, there we go. Hit right away. Drapion V Star. It's a hit right out of the gate. Take that. I'm not going to do the pack trick because every time I do the pack trick, I seem to mess it up. So we're going to try to avoid that now. Put that off to the side here. And so when they pulled out this booster box, they literally had a drawer behind the counter. And they had probably about six boxes in there, three uh, Astro Radiance, three Ancient Origins. And I said, you know what? Just give me a box of each, Reverse Hollow, and the rare is a Framerick. So give me one of each. And let's see what we get. I don't know if I got enough film power to do both on the same unboxing, so we will assess after the Lost Origins. Jinx, Glastier, Buffalot, Energy, a Choke, Gate, and the other two don't have anything. So after the rare, I'm not really gonna, I'm gonna go through these like pretty quick because I know Lost Origins, it's an older set, 
So if you're watching this, I am under the assumption that you have seen this before. Sudabudo, Bronzor, Elytrike, Gasly. That's cool. Oh, there we go. Let's do it. That is a Snorlax um, trainer gallery. Snorlax, the fan favorite. If you can't tell, Snorlax is one of my favorite Pokemon, so that is an awesome hit there. And we got a V-Star card. That's about it. I will take that. That's a nice card. Centering is a little off. Um, it's a little bent, too, but you know what? It's going in a binder. I'm not going to grade that, so it's okay. Team Snorlax. Polywag. Shining Growlithe. Roserade Reverse. And Parasect is the rare. Good card for anybody that wants it. So I don't know, I don't remember if I pulled any packs from the right side. We are going left side. I usually have better luck on the right side, so that's why we're saving it for last. I know sometimes it's the opposite for, for people. Clefairy. Gotta love a Clefairy, gotta love a Lickitung. That's a nice looking card too. Nuzleaf and Volo Hollow. I'm a fan of the Sword and Shield cards. I think they did good in that set or in that sequence. I don't know what you call it, but I like the cards. I don't know the pull rates for the Giratina or that Aerodactyl. There we go. Zorark V Star. Take that. It's a nice one. But if we can pull that out of here, that would be absolutely fantastic. Played a lot of games with Dave and Buster's to get these booster boxes. So this is about 800 tickets per pack. Um, I think it was around 28, if you do the math, it's like 28,000 reverse Porygon. It's about 28,000 chips or tickets, what they call them, per booster box. Carmen B. So we're getting some pretty decent pulls out of here. Not bad, not bad. The Lost Snowbird. Wow, that's a cool looking card. May Cargo is the rare. Sorry guys if I don't even bother going through those uh, uncommons and commons at the end. I'll give you the code card though. Pikachu. Oddish. Litwick. Love Disc. Reverse Oddish. And Chandelure Hollow. If we can get one of the big two out of this set, I probably would get them graded depending on the condition. Even if it's not that great, the Giratina, you probably still end up getting that graded um, just because of its value. It does have good long-term value. This set's been out for a little bit now. Nothing in that pack. 36 packs in a box. We are almost done. We are almost halfway through, I should say. Jinx. Paris. There it is. So we have one, two, two. We got about five more packs on the left column. So not bad, not bad. We're getting some decent hits. So you Rudo, Chandler, and a ride choose the rare. Sorry, I'm making a bit of a mess over here. If you can't hear the cards cluttering. Space is prime real estate on this desk, so I apologize if you do hear some cards fall in the background. I'm kind of just piling them up on top of each other. <laughs> oh, there we go. The Schwein Arcanine. If I pronounce that wrong, I apologize. I usually do vintage cards, but I do some modern. 
I've been getting more into modern of late. Let's check the centering on this. See, it comes with that little bend. That's okay, these cards are just going in a binder. But um, take that. Not bad. At least it is a Pokemon I am familiar with, which is great. Obviously I'm familiar with base set and the Neo cards. There we go, Radiant Steelix. Maybe it's dark card. Good card. Put that over here. Let's take it. I have that one in Pokemon Go. Slugma. Clefairy. Rosalia. Porygon. Okay. Riley. And Mr. Mime's Rare. I had to win plenty of jackpots to get these boxes, if you didn't see. Basketball video is always the go-to. The high score is usually low enough to where if you know what you're doing, you could probably get it and then stop because after you win the jackpot, it just hikes it up. Galarian Preserker V. Um, good card. So not bad. So we are halfway done the box and we got... Two Ultra Rares, two V-Stars, and uh, two Trainer Galleries, and a Shiny. Still looking for that full art. A full art. Any full art. Shift tree. Any full art at this point would be fantastic. So, on to the right side of the box. Let's get some right side magic here. Polywag, Oddish, Growlithe, Trike, and another Parasect. In other news, Lorcana just came out. If you want to watch one of my other videos, I did an unboxing on a booster box that I picked up on release day from Lorcana. Nice TCG. Pokemon. Oh, there we go. A Scorch. Is that an alternate art? I think it is. Is that a train? Yep, it's a trainer gallery. I think it's a trainer gallery slash like alternate art. That's a nice card. And a Pyroar. Let's check out the centering on this real quick. Not bad, not bad. Decent condition. I will take it. So if anyone knows, leave me a comment below what like the pull rates are or if you've had any experience opening these and if you got anything good, if you got that Aerodactyl, you got the Giratina, let me know. I'm interested to see the pull rates in this box if you get, because I remember I used to do Sun and Moon and you would get maybe one or two like guaranteed like full arts per box. I don't know if they stopped doing that, if they made it harder, easier um, to get these cards, but I'm curious. I did buy a booster box of Astral Radiance at Dave & Buster's prior to filming, um, like about a month or two ago, and got some pretty decent stuff out of there. That's a fun set to open. This is, to be honest, my first time, there's a rare buffalo, my first time opening up Lost Origins. I've been super busy, but now we are back. We are back to film. We are back to open up packs, and we are back for your entertainment. So if you like more videos like this, definitely like and subscribe. I really appreciate any support for the channel. There's a Lee, Medichan, and a Mimikyu Rare. Sora, Minical, Gumi, Bronzor, Urizu. Oh, here we go. Drapion V. That's a hit. I'll take it. I pulled the Drapion V star in the back, so put that next to it. There's Code Card. Still would like to hit one more full art. Would be fantastic. Just give me one. Stranger things have happened. That would try. Gasly. Pinnacle. Follow. 
orbital. Orbito was a hollow. So let's just put these out. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten packs left. Let's go with the last pack, or which would have been the last pack. Would we have gotten last pack magic? Let us see. Uh, love disc. Right in reverse and a polyar. So we wouldn't have got last pack magic, but you know I kind of sense it. You gotta sense it, you know? If you feel like you might not get last pack magic, crack that pack now, and then maybe you'll get something in between. At least that's something that I do. It's a reverse psychology. Gligar, Phantom, there we go. Trainer Gallery, Pikachu. So three Trainer Galleries in this box. Centering is a little off from left to right, but the back looks pretty good. And these do have like a little bend in them. I don't know if you can see that on camera. A little bit. Not enough to make me not like the card. You take it. I'll take any Pikachu, trainer gallery or not. Gengar reverse. That's a pretty cool looking card though, especially during Halloween season. You like to see it. Malamar. There was a new set of the Halloween Pokemon packs that came out. But you know, they're cool. Cool to give out to some kids. I might give out some packs for trick-or-treaters. Guitar, Slugma, Swana, Spirit Bomb. All right, guys, we're getting there. We're getting down to the to the end of it. Would like one more full art. Would greatly appreciate it. But if not, sometimes that's how it goes. Sometimes you pull hot boxes. Sometimes you don't. But you never know. Card game's tricky. It surprises you. There we go. Rotom V. There it is. Alternate art. Let's go. Whew. It's a pretty good one. It's not bad. It does have a little bend to it, but, you know, not enough to make you not want the card. You take that. Take that all day. Money in the bank. So what do we got? We got one, two, three, four, five. Let's see if we can get something. So if I had started on the right side, we would have gotten two full arts. We would have been like, this box is insane. I can't believe we are only halfway through and we had two full arts. Just told you, the luck is always on the right side. I can't wait to open that Astral Radiance because there are a lot of cards in there that I do enjoy pulling. The uh, Misty Starmie Trainer Gallery. The uh, Cynthia and Garchomp Train. Whoa! There we go! There's a hit! Pikachu V! Max! Wow, what is this? Is this like a ghost rare? What the heck? I will take that. The Gigantamax Pikachu V. It's a black and gold type foil. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but that is fantastic. Told you the right side pays off. There we go. That is obviously the hit of the box. I will have to research that card afterwards and see, but whew, right side pays off. Let's go. So we did get on just on that side alone, we got two alternate arts and the Pikachu V Max full art, gold, black. Um, not sure actually what it's called. And there's a card. If you know what it's called, leave a like in the comments. I know there's people out there that are more experienced in modern cards and can let me know. That would be greatly appreciated. Dave and Buster is coming in clutch. If anyone didn't know, Dave and Buster's does have packs. And the Dave and Buster's where I'm at, Aerodactyl V, wish that was the uh, alternate art, but hey, we take it. At the Dave and Buster's I'm at, it's 800 chips. Last pack. 800 chips per pack. So you might as well buy it in bulk because you know not every pack is going to have everything. So if you buy the box, then you are guaranteed some hits, just like we did. 
do a recap. Radiant Sneasler in a Politoed. So, great box altogether. That Pikachu saved the box. So we got a Pikachu V Max. We got the Rotom V alternate art. Looks like he's in some sort of um, like metal bedroom where there's a pl other appliances around. Um, we did get the Pikachu. We got the Centiscourge V Max. Is that Trainer Gallery? Yeah, it's Trainer Gallery. Trainer Gallery, Radiant Steelix, Schwain Arcanine, and a Snorlax Trainer Gallery. So altogether, decent box. Now I'm going to crack open this Astral Radiance in the next video, so be sure to check that out. Dave and Busters has Pokemon cards. All right, guys, see you in the next video.